I mean, it's a bit cliche to say I feel free. I think a more apt description is I, I just feel calm and I feel totally comfortable and I'm not worried about anything. I have no anxiety, none of the sort of everyday stress of life. As soon as I click into my skis, a lot of that just disappears. I mean, you're sliding on snow at speed, like it's awesome. Whether you're on a groomer or it's super icy or spring corn or, you know, obviously of course, super deep dry pow is like the greatest experience ever. Period finished. One of the things my dad told me, he was like, no matter what you do for work, make sure that whatever you do, you like doing it because you're gonna spend most of your life there. Um, and if you don't like doing that, it's gonna be brutal. And so he's like, worry less about what it pays and you know, make the pursuit, do something you love, like do what you like to do. You go dear, <laughs> you'll be just fine. You know, I've done tons of different jobs, right? I was a bush pilot, I've been a yoga instructor, freelance writer, landscaping, roofing, you name it. I've kind of done all these different jobs, rope access, and ski patrolling is hands down one of the best jobs in the world. Dan White, Dan from Darcy. And to be able to morph it into something that I am super passionate about in terms of a specialty is just a huge gift for me, so. <laughs> Double Americano, a couple sugars. Darcy McLeish's job uh, here at Vale is uh, to oversee the working at heights and um, technical rescue um, enterprise wide for uh, our resorts. So bringing continuity and um, uh, better uh, standard operating guidelines and procedures um, across the board, which is really important so that we're all speaking the same language. Some of our uh, brother and sister resorts uh, are, are smaller than Whistler Blackcomb, and uh, there's huge benefit from that because perhaps in the past they didn't have the resources or, or the people to sort of draw upon, um, which, you know, in, in our infancy, we, we might have uh, been pushing that rock uphill as well. All right, clear the ladder. Uh, so by having somebody in place uh, like like Darcy and uh, and his division uh, will really benefit them because they they can draw upon those resources um, and uh, manage their situations uh, in a more effective and safe manner. When most folks think about ski resorts, they don't equate them to like a big industrial operation. Yeah, we're, we're totally focused on giving people epic pow days. I mean, that's, you know, that's why we're out in the mountains. Um, and we're in these beautiful settings. The reality is we've got a bunch of big machinery, right? We've got these lifts, gondolas, tramways, chairlifts, snow cats rolling around, big complex snowmaking systems, and all of it is sitting in a pretty austere environment, right? We're sitting out in the mountains where we get tons of snow, we get wind, rain, icy conditions, and you know, with that comes a bunch of challenges for the teams doing their jobs out there because it's different than doing your job inside a building or doing your job in a sort of more city landscape, say, right? We're doing it on the side of a mountain. And so with that comes a whole bunch of safety challenges and my job is to meet those challenges and exceed them and really provide the best we can provide for our crews. Here's my wife. She's my partner and we've been together for 14 years almost. Um, and she's, yeah, the smartest person I've ever known, for sure. And she teaches me so much every day. And, you know, I'm kind of a little bit the crazy one. Um, and she's really balanced and like pragmatic um, and super passionate about her pursuits in life. And I love her to bits. 
Darcy uh, has always been a bit larger than life and definitely stood out in a crowd. It was lots of fun, really dynamic, um, really ambitious, and I just, he was fun to work with and it's hard to forget once you meet Darcy. Anybody who's been in the industry for any length of time, and not just the ski industry, but across the board, oil and gas, any high risk work, we've all seen it. When things go wrong, it's due to lack of training, lack of compliance. And if we can create a system that is easy to learn, is simple and unified, we reduce the chances of those mistakes happening where people get hurt. So if we can, at the end of the day, keep our workers safe, it means we're also keeping our guests safe. The changes I've seen in Darcy as a person and his own development has been pretty incredible. Um, a lot of what he's doing now was part of his own creation and just stepping up to the plate to say, hey, I can help with this. And taking the steps and evolving that role to where it is today has been a really neat journey to watch from someone who is just a doer to someone who's now a leader. And I've seen him really learn to listen to people because he's coordinating so many different players coming from different places and all of whom need their own worth and sort of contribution recognized in trying to contribute to making a change. I think the reasoning or the the motivation maybe on the trend to kind of modernize in the industry is we evolve, right? And so like any industry, as things progress in life, we have newer and better and safer tools. So every year there are more tools available in the work at height world um, because there are new products and new training methods and new ways to do things. and that's part of that evolution. And I think, you know, that whole trend in the ski industry is just to be better. In a lot of ways, skiing was probably one of the only things left when I was in my late teens, right before I got clean that still had just a modicum of clarity to it. So when I would ski um, and I was really deep into my addiction, it was the one place that I felt totally safe and comfortable, whereas everywhere else my life was just a disaster and falling apart. And, and that's kind of stayed with me my whole life. You know, I, I wake up every morning and I'm, I'm pretty grateful that I'm sober and I still take it just a day at a time. That's kind of the, the thing. You know, when you first get clean, it's like an hour at a time, um, sometimes less. You know, one of the people I met when I first got sober, they told me something I'll never forget. And they just said, you know, your goal every day is to just try and be a little bit better than you were the day before. And... This may sound a bit strange, but like the true mark for change for me emotionally say, like as I try and be a better person every day is, um, is the, the stuff that really bothers me or triggers me or whatever it is, just doesn't anymore. And like the less and less that is, the better I tend to feel in my life. What's my greatest hope in my job is, is just that that I've helped, that's, that's really all it comes down to. Like, did I come in and help your operation? Did I come in and help or solve a problem and make both of us better at our jobs? That's really my hope. And if I can affect a little bit of change on the way and just help people be safer and more stoked about what they're doing, then yeah, that's a huge victory, even if that only ever happens once.